We're here at Black Hat USA 2015, and I'm here with members of our Unit 42 Threat Intelligence team. Jen Miller Osborne, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Chad. Rob Falcone, good to see you. Hi, Chad. How you doing? So, uh, Team Black Hat, place where you know the uh, the more technically minded folks, the hackers, come to talk about what's really interesting, what's popping this year, what are the big trends we should be aware of. What are you taking away this year, Jen? We'll start with you. Threat sharing is continuing to be a huge thing that is being discussed. There were a couple of separate tracks about it and some different approaches, but it's really being highlighted how companies really need to be pushing out accurate indicators with threat intelligence to the public and to share this to, act, to help protect everybody else and not keep them to themselves, which is exactly what our company has been doing. All of our blogs, we publish all of the indicators, we share everything we can, we have the Cyber Threat Alliance that we work with, and we're doing things with that as well to get indicators out to everybody. And it's just, they're really highlighting how to really effectively protect everybody, that companies need to be publishing that data and they need to be willing to share it and not just do the traditional, oh, mine, 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 not sharing it with you, it's special. And that just, that's not helpful for anybody. So that approach is big. How much do you think that's changed over the past year? Because as you said, there's been a lot of resistance in the past to doing exactly that. I think they're starting to get a lot more buying because a lot of people are realizing that it really does have to happen. You're not a special snowflake, your malware isn't special, everyone's getting hit by this stuff, and you're not doing any favors by keeping it private and not sharing it, or even just keeping it to a limited community. It's a global problem, everyone's being hit by this, everyone's being targeted, and it needs to be, it needs to be shared. It's not taking away from your business to help protect everyone. Rob, over to you, your top takeaway from Black Hat 2015. Uh, I think that the fact that uh, mobile is starting to become really, really popular, very, very popular on the talk list. If you look at the talk list, there's 25% uh, of the talks are all about mobile. Um, so my, the interesting part about it is that it's not just Android, it's, they're talking about iOS as well. So uh, pretty interesting, especially when we have uh, wildfire that can actually analyze a, uh, APKs, uh, which allows us to uh, see behaviors that are occurring in Android apps. Uh, really interesting stuff. What do you think is going to, um, to follow on that, Rob, what do you think is going to dominate the discussion of threats and malware over the next few months? Um, hmm. I would imagine that the, uh, I mean, we, we attended a talk about, um, it used WMI, which is uh, Windows Management Interface, uh, to uh, use get backdoor access and maintain backdoor access. Uh, which is kind of interesting because we saw that years and years and years ago in the cyber espionage scene, uh, but now it seems to be uh, becoming more and more uh, commonplace. Yeah, the Active Directory as well, which is the same thing. It's been exploited by APT campaigns for years, but it was very rarely talked about unless you were in incident response or in the tech community. You really didn't see it and it was very limited, but now there's a lot of talks explaining like how to do it and then people also looking into how to detect it and everything like that, and that's just that's essentially pretty new. Jen, Rob, thank you so much. You can read all new research and updates from Unit 42 at researchcenter.paloaltonetworks.com slash Unit 42.